Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to episode 5 of CCO Complete Client Overview. Today we are reviewing Worst Plus 3. This episode is brought to you by all of the people that voted. Be sure to use the link in the description so that you can choose what client I review next. Also, for everyone asking what texture pack I use, there is now a link to download it in the video description. Anyways, let's get into the review. Just like all the other videos in this series, we are going to start this video by having a look at Worst Plus 3's website. Worst is slightly different to all of the other clients I have reviewed so far. It is a free and open source project that can be found on GitHub. There is a decent amount of information in the README section, with links to their Discord server and to download the client. Overall, I actually prefer this layout to some of the other clients custom websites. There are multiple ways of downloading a jar from GitHub. The best practice is to compile the source code yourself. The reason this is done is to prevent the owner from publicly displaying code that is safe and then uploading a malicious jar file. To compile the client yourself, you need to download Java 8 JDK. After you have installed the JDK, search Windows for Advanced System Settings. Click Environment Variables and under the System Variables window, click New. For variable name, type Java underscore Home, all in caps. Now open File Explorer and navigate to C Drive, Program Files, Java. Open the JDK and copy the system path. Now paste this into the variable value section. Once you are done, you can click OK to close all of these windows. Now open the GitHub link for Worst Plus 3 and download the project as a zip. You now need to extract the zip file. I am using WinRAR, but you can just right click it and extract it through Windows. Open command prompt and type CD. Then drag the folder you just extracted over the command prompt. Let go and press enter. You will now need to type the following commands. Gradle w setup decompile workspace. Once you press enter, you will need to wait for about 5 minutes for the command to execute. Once that finishes, type Gradle w clean then press enter. This command should finish pretty quickly. Then lastly, you will need to type Gradle w build. Once that finishes, you can close command prompt and open the folder you extracted to. Open build, then in libs you'll find two different jar files. Drag and drop the jar file that has release at the end of its name into your mods folder and run the game as per usual. Shout out to Crazy Monkey from the Catalyst client for showing me how to compile a client. I also uploaded my build of Voice Plus 3 and you can download it with the link in the description. I still recommend building it yourself but for those of you that trust me and can't be bothered to go through the whole building process this is an easy compromise. You can also take the risk of downloading the jar provided on GitHub by clicking the releases tab and downloading the release.jar. Now that we have Worst Plus 3 up and running, let's have a look at some of its modules. It is worth mentioning that Worst Plus 3 is mainly made for PvP and lacks a lot of utility hacks. Crystal Aura. This module is extremely customizable. There are so many settings it can be confusing, but with a good config it can be very powerful. Kill Aura. This module offers a few settings but is nowhere near as good as some other clients. Offhand. There are not enough settings in my opinion, but to be fair, the module does work. Surround. I was actually decently surprised with the surround module. It has a decent amount of settings and works really well. Trap. I found this module to be slightly inconsistent, sometimes working and sometimes breaking, but this could be due to a config issue. Holeful. This module fills safe holes around you so that your enemies don't have anywhere to hide. It works decently well, but lacks some settings. Hole ESP. This is a render module that highlights safe holes. It has a few settings and personally I'm a big fan of the gradient option. Name tags. The name tags module looks clean and is somewhat customizable, but personally I prefer the look of some other clients name tag modules. Now that we have looked at a few of the PvP modules, let's have a look at some of its utility hacks. Freecam. This module allows you to fly through blocks to view bases and caves. No knockback. This module allows you to edit the type of knockback you take. Xcarry. I was surprised to see this module in Worst Plus 3, but it basically allows you to carry items in your crafting grid. Step. This module allows you to walk up two blocks like a spider. 
Traces, a render hack that shows you which direction other players are in. Middle click friends, this module allows you to middle click a player to add them to your friends list for other modules for kill aura or crystal aura. Replenish, this module refills your hotbar with the same item from your inventory. I found it to be buggy but overall it seemed to work. Moving on to Worst Plus 3's GUI. By default, there are lines around all of the categories. Personally, I prefer the look of the client with these disabled. Overall, the GUI looks fairly clean and it is somewhat customizable. One thing I'm not a fan of is the color changing system. Yes, it does work, but I way prefer the color picking features of other clients. Another thing Crazy pointed out to me was the client itself is very inconsistent. Some modules like Camera Clip, Whole ESP or No Render have spaces between their names while others like self trap or view model are displayed as one word. This could be due to skidding as everyone has their own way of listing hacks, but it is likely just due to laziness. The only support offered by Worst Plus 3 is on its Discord server. The server seems to be pretty active, but they don't have a dedicated support channel, so I assume anyone with the problem just asks in the general chat. The only thing I like about this server is the official configs page, which as you can probably guess, shows off good Worst Plus 3 configs. Overall, I would say Worst Plus 3 is a huge improvement on Worst Plus 2. However, I would never personally use this client. With other great free PvP clients available, I found it hard to justify the need to use Worst Plus 3. GameSense, Phobos and even Cami Blue offer more features and they can also all be used for PvP. Thank you so much for watching to the end of my video, I really appreciate your time. Seeing as you are still here, I assume you enjoyed the video, so please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing. Before you leave, remember to vote for next week's episode of CCO with the link in the description. Quick shout out to my Patreon for all of the support. Without him, I would not be able to try new paid for clients. Anyways, it has been your boy Carlab, peace in the Middle East.